What's up guys? This is the Roverman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Watch Me Struggle as Bavaria and Empire Total War. Um, in this episode we're going to send a uh, the Berlin garrison north against uh, Jai Hassan, who is sieging Berlin. Fortunately his army is fairly depleted, but uh, we can't afford to take too many losses ourselves. So that's what's going to be underpinning pretty much mo almost all of the decisions we make, is that we can't really afford to just absorb losses. We can't afford to just keep taking hits and be like, oh, it's fine, it's fine. Because it's really not, because we don't have the money. <laughs> we do not have the, the finances to maintain war on all fronts, but the AI seems determined to make sure that happens. So form our, rank, form our battle line in advance. They have artillery, we don't. So if we sit back, we'll just take excess casualties from their guns. So let's advance. There, we do have buildings on our side, but I don't think we're going to realistically be able to make use of them. Dervishes... Camels. The dervishes are what's. The dervishes are going to be both the most and the least scary aspect to all of this. You drop into square. At least that will be one cavalry unit dealt with. Let's see, don't, don't shoot them. They're going to go down fairly quick to my battle well, not my battle line, to this battalion. Maybe push a line up and it to support that attack, because that's not a lot of firepower. Elsewhere. We kind of do want to keep pushing. Good. Dragoons up. Need to be careful going out, going into this bowl. Because as we've got a lot of militia. Oh good. These guys are gonna march towards us. Perfect. We can knock them out fairly cheaply. And this is the kind of thing that my militia definitely want to shoot at, is a melee infantry unit that's incredibly depleted trying to push. I've suddenly realised, wait a minute, there's guys with guns over there. Look at this guy, he's booking it. Oh no. Okay, so A, we've lost sound, and B, we got camels. Charge them. Cavalry can't do squat. My wild dragoons need to go chase down that Hindu musketeer unit. Well, my infantry line. Doesn't quite advance, but pushes up at the very least. See, they're winning decisively, but they're mowing down militia. The levy are advancing in the centre, so let's maybe put my grenadiers somewhere where they could do something useful. There we go. Camels are going down. 
we've lost a fair number of militia to do it but I think it's the better decision so let's push my troops up into this bowl let's get my hussars on the left there go the there go the camels let's get my militia to charge into the rear of these dervishes The levy are falling back. The grenadiers can't really do much to shoot at them, but it's still something. Cavalry's a bit overkill. There we go. So get my grenadiers up front. Let's get my militia units back into the field. Starting to cause some upset. Trouble these are bowmen, and bowmen are frustratingly resilient. The Sikh warriors are advancing my Freikor line, but they're probably not going to last too long. Keep pushing, keep shepherding, shepherding them around. Yeah, I've lost 40 grenadiers. I think the issue is they're going after the... the artillery. Form square. You're going to have to go for the dervishes, but I don't really want you to go for the dervishes. I'd like it if you just stayed in your line. Like so. And engage the enemy general's bodyguard. Can you guys actually... Go hit those dervishes, there's only six of them. My hussars engage the two men. Or well, this is uh, Zamandari horseman. Okay, there we go, there's another. Okay, you can have a pop at the gunners now. Hopefully they just walk into you. Ah, my leader, my general in the hussars has been killed but they aren't really my general knock out that last dervish their cavalry is going down come on break Break, damn you. There we go. Go after that unit of dervishes, because there's not very many of them. They're engaging my militia, but my guys also have fire against them. Okay, good, we've knocked out that dervish unit. Looks like they're very keen to try and... Aha! Bowmen have come back. So my Dragoon's going to smash into the Bowmen. Didn't kill their general, sadly. Send you guys to cut the dervishes off. You men try go for their general. My dragoons try go for their bowmen. 
Apart from that, everyone looks like they are suitably upset. That's right. Knock out their general. So you men continue to kill the bowmen. You men knock out that dervish and then you're going to head this direction. I mean, they're booking it. They really are booking it. Well, those guys are going to try and just run up and around here. Ideally, of the lot, I want you to go for the dervishes. Although the bowmen are annoying. That is... They are a valid target. We're going to continue. Services are the better unit to go for, really. Bowmen are annoying, but at least they don't. Well, dervishes are gonna split, and I might go for the bowmen. Just do as much damage as you can, to be honest, at this stage. We're not going to be able to prevent them from doing any raiding. Because some of them will survive. But significantly fewer than what landed on our shores. That's the important thing. Come on. Decisive victory. Nice. Okay, that's the word I wanted to see. Yeah, not doing so well in the cash department, but they've lost 1,700 men. It's not bad. Replenish whatever we can replenish. Couple of units. In Dresden, the Pol Polish forces may end up sallying fairly soon. Um, hmm. Damn. It would be great if we could get Peace and trade with the Ottomans. So we're sieging Amsterdam. Uh, but I might beef them up a bit. To be honest, just the artillery and the infantry. Just give them a bit of extra firepower. Here at Copenhagen, you guys advance south. One more turn till we get grenades, one more turn till we get division of labour, which is pretty important. Well, it's really important, actually. Okay. So they're, they're going to sally at some point, but I know their army is relatively weak, and we've got a lot of firepower now at our disposal. So let's hit end turn. Britain's on the move. <laughs> right, okay. Let's sally. Oh, no, let's, let's not sally. Let's withstand the attack. We're going to deploy really far back because of their mortar garrison. Most of their troops are really quite weak. So Amsterdam will not be able to go through very many turns of engagement like this. And then, if that happens, we can gather our forces in the west, push on to Brussels, and then push on to Paris. So then before we know it, not only have we got a fairly strong western front... But also quite a lucrative one. So deploy back to make sure that they deploy their... So their mortars can't fire. Put the maximum amount of firepower in the centre. Got a 12 pounder on the left. Two more units of infantry. Then the remaining troops just deploy in a line just to make sure you've got that overlapping fire. Plus my general. 
So, most of them are on the right. General's bodyguard. So the main thing is howitzers. Mortars, rather. General's bodyguard is going to suicide. Oh, I... Oh, nuts. You men redeploy like so. You men... Get over here. It's their general. There we go. The mortar crews have abandoned their guns. Good. So that means when they advance on us, we are going to be ready. The general's had enough of living. <laughs> yeah, the general has grown tired of living. So you men engage the 6th. Okay, you men both engage the fort. Because in the event... Well, do damage to it now, so that it's not damage we have to do to it later. This gun team can continue to engage the 6th regiment. They're doing really well, actually. The, mortar the artillery crews are on the way. They're going after my guns. So one, some of their artillery... They've destroyed my... They've killed my general. Well, my captain. You know, let's keep my keep my guns engaging the wall. Dragoons are advancing. What's going on? Artillery cavalry is advancing on both flanks, but this one's significantly weaker now because my twelve pounders have done a fantastic job. Yeah, they they realise that they can't cope with my firepower, so now they're running. Canister shot the marines. Bring you guys in just a little bit. Yeah, they, they they can't match our firepower. That's all that it comes down to. Go on, 3rd Regiment. Engage. Put a volley into the 1st. Oh, well, they've routed. So now my militia push up the flank. Ninth Foot Regiment, Scots. The war will be coming after you soon, Scotland. Oh, don't waste your time shooting faster at them. Shoot at the militia. Yeah, we will lose men, but they'll lose more than us. Significantly more. Reload, men! Because these guys have been fighting for an awful long time. They're quite veteran now. Yeah, there go the Marinier Corps. Okay, get my Prushenk horse back out of there to make them re-engage the square. We've seen off the Dragoons. Oh, 
canister shot the conscripts. So their, their guns looks like they might be limbering up. Yeah, sorry, put a volley into them. Engage the 10th Regiment with round shot fire. And let's pull back our militia line just a little bit. There we go, there go the 4th Regiment to so push up my cavalry. On 12th Regiment. Back you devils go. So you guys switch to round shot, engage the Regiment of Horse. Forty-two regiment of horse. Yeah, we probably like those odds. Not that they've changed their mind. My guys are more experienced as well, so they should. I mean, again, shot at also by the twelve, but my guys are more experienced, so they should do more damage. Second regiment of militia is upset because they're under fire from significantly more units. Okay, let's get my Prushenk horse on the march to start to attack the Scots units at the very least. So you guys get back to pounding the wall. You men go after the Scots. I mean, the Marines would be the best, but they are... Well, they are there. They're down to 71 men, though. May as well just go after the targets here that I've got easy access to. Ah, but I don't want to kill them, do I? Otherwise they'll just spawn um, fresh garrison units. There we go, we've made a, we've made a breach. Just walk some infantry up towards the line. Advance my men up to shoot the 4th Regiment of Horse to bits. Get my artillery to chase down the Sakers. There we go, now we're, we're engaging the... This is their general unit, although it's really a captain. There's the detachment commander. He's not super pleased with what's going on. So we want to worry them, not make them rout. That's the one I've that's my best guess, I think. If we can make them rout without destroying this artillery battery, that would be perfect. Perfect. Because that means that weakened artillery unit now still exists on the campaign map. So next turn, they will be... they won't be replaced by a mortar or a full-strength garrison line unit, in theory. Although, actually, 
they, you know, they're pretty weak. I wonder if, actually, because they've now fought me, does that count as them... They've generated the garrison and now they've just lost that garrison. I wonder. Because if it is, then we're going to attack Amsterdam. Yeah, Poland are massing for another attack. Come on, Prussia, do something. Draw some of the heat off of us. Because we've also got the uh, Ottomans to the south. Okay, as long as they're just garrisoning buildings on their in their own territory, I think we might be a bit safe. Right. The Mughals are going to do some raiding and be real scoundrels. Oh, I'm going to lose my ship, aren't I? Go on, little Jebek or light galley. So the Berlin army is going to push out and uh, auto-resolve that engagement. I think po uh, the day uh, Portugal's days are numbered. Although I might actually just send a detachment. Yeah. Obviously, they... Could have, they could have gone anywhere, but they decided to run the most annoying direction. Let's see if one cavalry unit can knock them out. Obviously. That's so frustrating when they do that. So you guys are going to replenish and get back to Berlin. At least you ran into... A... Uh, into a, sit into a, a city. Yeah, we could actually go for Amsterdam, because they've not got much except cavalry. That means when you're ready, we can slam south and take out Brussels. But we do want to make sure that we spend some money here. So now in terms of... Oh, you didn't get to research your technology. Bummer. Uh, it doesn't, it's not a massive deal. You've got Division of Labour, so you've gone to utilitarianism, which makes people unhappy, but it increases town wealth growth. So we're on to 2,200 next turn, because... Actually, my port is broken. I don't think I can get away with repair. Uh, like, there's nothing I can really stop building that I need. Like, that I don't need. Because actually, because they've left, I could repair the port and then... Uh, repair the port and then get trade up and running again, and maybe. But, let's take out Amsterdam. We've made a breach. They've only got cavalry. They don't get artillery. We're going to go in here and we're going to knock down the university because we don't need it and we need cash. We need cold hard cash. That's what we need. To be honest, I might even replace it with a coaching inn so I can... Oh, see, the breach has gone away. Yeah, the game can be a bit finicky about when it does or doesn't doesn't count as having a breach done. But because they're all up front, we're not going to do anything, we're not going to do much clever. So yeah, two weak line infantry units plus some cavalry. We're going to make a hole in the wall, we're going to advance, we're going to send some guys to attack the wall, but when the cavalry commits to the action, then it's probably going to be game over. But then we want this force to regenerate and recuperate as quickly as possible and push down to Brussels. Take Brussels, and then we can threaten Paris. Then once we've done that, we might be able to force a peace with the French. If they exist anywhere else, that is. But Paris would be quite a good achievement, I think, for us. I think we're going to boom, got the breach. So immediately they they've, they're going to march down to cover it with everything they've got. So my artillery is going to wait until my infantry have passed and then start working on another breach. There we go. Oh yeah. Sometimes giving orders. 
high speeds don't really seem to work. Hey. The Dragoons are making a valiant effort. Very valiant effort, but foolish, my old friend. You're completely outnumbered. But still, the brave Bavarian forces are advancing. Chase them down. Chase them down. Very well. I'll just run my guys back up into the firing line. I do see the... Yeah, see? I knew you wanted to fight us. Let's get Union of Line Infantry up to the gate. Plus these two units. Come on, the Prussian horse are incoming. They're going to charge into the flank, which is good for them. Silly, silly dragoons. Oh, they're still coming. But yeah, they can't really uh, afford to stop the attack on their own. Ideally, I'll destroy the uh, university and that will just really bring them onto our side. There we go, now they're going to start to push out. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. You guys should be trying to shoot the marines. No, don't run in that way. That's where the guys with guns are. See, they just found a new target. You men knock out the artillery, this infantry form up against the 10th. We're going to secure the, the gate. And that will be the end of you. Second regiment of artillery. It's going down. Come on. Just get everyone inside now. The Dragoons are going to get cause some casualties here, but to be honest, they're wavering already. They're going to rout. We might lose a few more casualties than we'd like. But I think in the grand scheme of things, taking Amsterdam is a significant, significant victory for us. Damn right it is. Nice. So they're not going to like us. 
Um, not one bit, especially because we can't actually repair and rebuild the city as quickly as we'd like. We only lost 98 men. Actually, they're only, only minus 16. So we have to exempt them from tax. And if I get rid of the school, that will bring it down to minus 8. They not. Uh, they do. Have, they got issues from industrialization. But I don't really want to get rid of the weaver's cottage. But then again, it's doing nothing for me while I'm currently exempting it from tax. I wonder if I'm gonna send a dragoon unit up to Amsterdam. Minus fourteen. No, oh, it didn't change a thing. Okay. Ooh, indifferent. Trade with the Italian states is good. Okay, we actually get some trade out of that. Interesting. I mean, I'm kind of counting on Munich getting a reasonable garrison to dissuade the Ottomans in the short term. Utrecht is going to be destroyed. Let's hit end turn. Great Britain is clearing out Obviously, the, yeah, you can raid the port if you like. We're not getting any money from it anyway. I wonder if, if we take Amsterdam, will we? It would be nice to take Brussels, but critically, will we be able to negotiate a peace with Amsterdam and maybe even get trade? That'd be pretty huge. They're going to definitely push the Polish. I mean, the Ottomans, like, there's not a lot, nothing I can do about that. Absolute zero there. Yeah, you're going to raid. Right. The pirates just got melted by, a, by the Spanish Navy. Okay, so 1800. National Observatory gets us plus two happiness each, but the government building gets us plus four repression. So I think I might have to go for that, even though it's a very expensive thing off the bat. Uh, Dutch, Dutch, Dutch. United Provinces. Peace and trade. No. <laughs> well, peace and trade, as long as you give us Brandenburg. No. Not going to happen. We're going to repair the port and we're going to run <coughs> cavalry unit down to Rostock. See if we can get... <coughs> Just a second, everyone. Sorry about that. Um, okay, just so we can, if we can get a cheeky turn's worth of uh, trade... I mean, Ottomans, Ottomans, Ottomans. Trouble is, they're indifferent to us, and it's kind of like, ugh. What about just peace? Damned blast. But again, not a lot we can do, so let's hit end turn. 1,200 in cash, which is not a lot. Our ministers are all as good as they can be. Hmm. You will have to go for Brussels. Probably combine these armies together. <coughs> so, where's my agents? They're all off to the east. So you're in Breslau, you're in... Okay, let's call you back. Get over towards... Oh, and hold on, did I cancel your move by not giving you a, an order? I did. Infiltrate Paris. So if we took Paris, France is done for because they have no other territories in Europe. Well, apart from Strasbourg, obviously. Let's hit end turn. We may end up getting into a weird situation where the troops in the east just fight a constant rear guard to try and buy time for expansion in the west. Oh, yeah, and there goes Portugal. 
yeah, try and expand to the west and uh, oh, full Polish army. We're going to have to take them out. I do not like where you're going. Portugal. They've deployed an army to try and fight off against Spain, but they don't stop. If they don't defend Lisbon, then I'm sorry, Portugal, you're done for. That's bad for me because we won't have any cash. Let's see, hopefully. Well, I don't think we'll get it this turn. Trade income. No. Netherlands have rioted. We can repair the National Observatory. Replenish the troops, because there's not a lot we can really do. If I put the Prushenk horse over here, that doesn't really help, does it? Minus two comes to minus one, which is useful, but it's not great. Uh, so next turn, theoretically you get 2,600. Okay, we need to engage Jakub Stasik in the open field. Bring you chaps down south. Let's take you chaps down here as well. Oh, that's all you can get, actually. Do you have any? Yeah, you got. Oh no, all the guns are in. All the guns are over to the west. Very well. You men form up. Let's take the battle to Poland, and let's engage a Polish army on the battlefield and wipe them. Wipe them off of the land. I think that's probably going to be the best way to do it, is just to try and hold in the east and expand in the west. Because that would, if we can knock out the United Provinces and France, that's two enemies against us that, that will be gone. Okay, my infantry centre. Let's put a significant contingent on the right flank. So this terrain is impassable, I believe. Uh, guns to the rear. Engage as you please. The main thing is, they might have numerically a decent army, but in terms of the amount of firepower our relative forces can put out, they they can't match us. They just can't. Provincial cavalry on the move up front, which is a bit of a bummer, but they're only provincial cav, so if they want to hit my my militia will be able to fight them off. Yeah, looks like it's going to be. Take him out. Yeah, provincial cavalry isn't very good cavalry. They get bogged down quite quick. Yeah, the 10th Regiment, Provincial Cavalry, is also trying to protect them. There we go, some good shots as they run across our line. Yeah, form square, because you clip them. Pain, Poland. So we will want to try and knock out as many as we can. Get 
Get my guns to engage the line infantry. Hello, there's some skirmishes. It's the general. He would be nice to take out. Yeah, you guys are going to be taking a lot of damage. You don't even have bayonets either. Get my dragoons up here to fight the warband and also to attack this regiment of horse that's actually quite depleted. Push up. Enemy regiment of horses shaken. They were wavering. Yeah, you're completely fine to charge my militia, provincial cavalry, because you're rubbish. I might have sent some of my guys flying, but not going to do a significant amount of damage. So let's get a cavalry unit to attack the warband. Cavalry unit to continue going wide. Knocked out one cavalry unit there. Oh, look at this. Look at all this infantry. guys up here. This, this Dragoon unit is going to get hammered a bit until it can knock out the enemy cavalry, but you can soon see. The enemy army just isn't able to compete at the same level as us. Cease fire the guns. So knock out the cavalry a little bit more until they start to run, then attack the warband. Can you guys knock out the warband please? There's only two left. Try go after actual infantry rather than the skirmishes for now. You men attack the 21st Regiment, because they're routing right in front of your face. There we go. Not bothered by irregulars, but because they're the first target to attack here. Bodyguards are outing. Okay, get this infantry unit to engage the warband. Irregulars, militia, regulars, irregulars. Well, if irregulars all we get, then irregulars is what we'll get. And there is an infantry unit in the centre, but they are not going to last long enough to worry about. Let's focus on killing the enemy. Good stuff. Enemy general's been killed. Keep attacking the 23rd. We are going to continue because we want to do as much damage as we can. Ideally, we want to try and do damage or destroy Poland so significantly they can't do anything but proceed towards peace with us, because they just don't have the strength. And the best way to prove it is by slaughtering them in the field. Three men remaining. There 
There we go. Oh man, that's... We have done a lot of damage to the Polish army in this engagement. Polish-Lithuanian army. Nice. Back you go, Poland. Back you go. Do not try again, because we will destroy you. I wonder... Peace and trade? What about just peace? Well, very well. Can't do any replenishment, but we didn't take that many losses, so we think we're doing okay. Next turn we're going to get a rebellion from the Dutch. That's okay. To be honest, maybe now's not the best time to research a minus one unhappiness thing, although in two turns, actually, what we're going to see is that will be... It will still be a net negative, as far as public order goes. Oh, hello. It's the Marathas are going to Maratha. The Mughals are going to continue to ruin my little trade empire, but I'm hoping this turn, because my port is now no longer blockaded, we might actually get a bit of trade for once. Gentlemen in the Netherlands. So there's the Dutch rebels. Don't worry about anything that they're going to do. Let's repair this. You chaps can be replenished advance up into the face of this Polish army because we do want to attack them. We've got 800 cash to spend which looks like it's going to go on tenanted farms. I'll we'll repair the school first. High yield, high yield, abundant yield, abundant yield it is. Because now they're actually, they're okay with us for now. Once we fight and engage the Dutch rebels that spend whatever last cash we have on replenishing them, then let's take this force under Wolfgang Torbelmann to engage this Polish force here. I would auto-resolve it, but the, uh, the casualties we would sustain would be not worth the grief. We're better off just fighting it normally, clearing the Polish troops away, and continue our campaign. So some of these units did take a reasonable chunk of losses, but not as bad as their guys. To be honest, you guys send my line infantry up front, or most of it. That infantry is going to stay back in reserve and not be used. Run our infantry up in front of them. Cut them down with volley fire. Mow them down with my cavalry. This is just a, a raiding force, a spoiling expedition. That's what they've sent against us. So everyone's running up into position. They're going to get the first shots off, but they will, they will not be getting the last ones off. It's only going to get worse. General's been killed. <laughs> it's another. Don't that looks like a general's bodyguard to me.
All of you cease fire. Let the cavalry do the work. Damn right we're going to continue. Every engagement matters for us. It's not a case of if we lose, you know, if we lose this fight, that's okay. We'll just rebuild an army and try again. It's like, no. We are... It's campaign... It's significantly critical to our campaign that we do as much damage as efficiently as possible. So, eh, chonk. So that Polish raiding force has come out to be destroyed. Whatever replenish we can get for that amount of money. I don't want to do anything with it because these guys scare me and I'm happy if they're just going to entrench. I don't want to do anything here yet. I want to let them come to me. We can try and get some more replenishment in. They can do some raiding, and that's fine, but we're not taxing the Netherlands anyway. So in the immediate term, it's not important. 3,200 next turn, because we're actually going to get a little bit of trade. Which will be huge. So Coburg is about to get utilitarianism. Uh, which we don't want to worry about yet. It's going to... So right now we're currently on um, zero public order in Amsterdam. But what we will start to see is... Uh, with a negative one that comes in from the research, that will be offset from the reduction in public order penalty um, from them not liking us being us. I mean, this won't last forever. The Ottomans just not attacking us. This won't will not last forever. We we are being incredibly lucky, and I am taking a huge gamble. I'm counting on them not being able to do anything to attack my capital. So I may want to slowly start ratcheting up my uh, recruitment in the capital. It doesn't need to be an army army. It just needs to... Yeah. Let's fight. <laughs> Let's fight this. We're quite close to the, ed the end of uh, this episode, but I think uh, it's quite good. Well, we're on a bit of a roll with Bavaria at the minute, so let's just keep going. Um, the enemy have no artillery, so we will be able to do some quite good damage to them. Although, actually, we're probably going to deploy in the open field like this. Behind cover. Put a militia on the wall behind me. leave the guns. Well, the guns could all just deploy out wide and be protected by the bulk of my cavalry. So I've got artillery from the fort. Artillery on the ground. And by the time they get to our walls, they're going to be hit by Yeah. yeah, you might take a bit of damage. Get the cavalry out wide, ready to counter charge this grenadier offensive. We have to get involved. <laughs> Although those point blank bayonet charges were quite useful. It's got a unit of Swiss infantry coming in. Militia units standing their ground. You men start to chase down the enemy here. The Wild Dragoons chase down the Grenadiers. You men 
push forward against the Swiss infantry. The engineers made it to our lines, but not for long, they didn't. <laughs> Damn right. Hopefully they die. They don't just disappear. They don't just, they don't just run away. They just go, Ugh. no, they, sadly, they lived. So they send a detachment out to just auto the remaining troops and get back to the Netherlands. The Netherlands now like us. We can spend a bunch of money on replenishment. We can get a cavalryman down to Rotterdam which is a commercial port. Get that repaired. Repair both these buildings. Go back to Munich. Pick up a unit of line infantry to act as a bit of a deterrent. But overall things are looking up. I think we can tax you now. Good we can. Good stuff. An extra 790 into the bank. 6,300. If we get that, that will be huge because then we'll be we'll be firing on all cylinders then. Then things will be looking up. So you have gone on to explosive shells. I don't want you to do that. You're quite low level, so I'm instead going to get you to work on... Ooh, nothing's quite good actually for that. Movement range. Okay, let's go for seasoning. Reduce upkeep. It increases my recruitment, but I've not built anything yet. Let's just try and get my recruitment down. Okay, let's... Uh, I think that's everything. Oh, you got uh, mutilitarianism, Coburg. So you've gone to government by consent. Again, it increases unhappiness, but... Yeah, we, we can manage with that. Let's hit end turn. I want to see, for the first time ever, I want to see that six grand come in. Yeah, Britain's quite heavily blockading us. We might want to slowly start recruiting troops in Stuttgart as well, because it looks like the French have realised that we do now share a border. I am hoping that Poland and the Ottomans are becoming increasingly unfriendly. I don't like that they raided my stuff. Yeah, because that meant they were going to now start raiding me. Fine. The army from Berlin is going to move southwest. And begin engaging. I can deal with raiding Mughals. As long as I've got a more stable front line, which I think I will have. Well, I, I do have a more stable front line. Pirates are going to pirate. So, up here. You men. I mean, they're depleted, but I don't know by how much. But their force is actually quite weak. So let's march you guys out of Berlin. Let's drop, shift this line infantry north. Try and repair things. Because we will need that money. I didn't get to save the cash influx. <laughs> recruit a mercenary unit here. Recruit a... A guard infantry unit in Munich. You men need to be finishing your... Finished... Need to be completely replenished. Let's recruit a galley here so I can get my Prushenk horse redeployed. 18 hundo. We can repair the barracks. You men are being replenished. Can you leave Amsterdam? Minus three? No, but you can soon. Probably like to build this into a craft workshop. I probably want to do something a bit cheaper in terms of upgrades like that. Although this is probably a waste I think, because that's probably just going to get broken again. So if I build a... Do I build a car workshop or a coaching inn? To be honest, you've got these buildings to help offset unhappiness, so 
You've also got 25 resistance to foreign occupation to go down yet as well, so I might actually go for a craft workshop. Or do I go for something like Grand Opera House? Although you've got Royal Observatory, or National Observatory. I think I want to go for Craft Workshop. I'm fairly, pretty sure you guys will be able to take on Sanduk Dede. You guys might even be ready. Well, after a couple of turns of this sort of income, we're going to be able to build some proper armies. Especially not long after. When, once you guys have recovered and realised that actually we're not going to try and eat all your children, uh, we're going to push down Siege Brussels. But let's hit end turn first. Yeah, more British ships. Spain wants trade. Yes, let's trade. The whole bunch, a bunch more troops pushed out of Poland. They may now sense weakness at Berlin and, and try and try and go for us there. So the Ottomans have now got. Oh, yeah, that's not bad. My army that's coming from Berlin will be able to uh, relieve the siege of Berlin. And if I start to recruit more troops in in Berlin, I can maintain a more solid front line. But then this force, once they come down and take out that Ottoman army, they might be able to drive east and take Vienna and then begin to put the Put the squeeze onto the Ottomans, which would be pretty awesome. This is assuming that army that's moving down from Berlin is within within range. So you can't infiltrate Paris again. Munich is besieged. Can you get there in a turn? You can. Good. So Munich will be saved. France is recruited Royal Bavière. Where is all of our... Did we get... Did we get blockade? What? So what happened here then? Why have I lost all that trade income? Oh, because my capital's under siege. Nothing can get to or from my capital. Makes sense. So let's not build anything yet. Let's take Mr. Ketterer. Drive south and hit the Ottomans, because again, their force is fairly weak. But, looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for the destruction of this Ottoman force, and the beginning of a new army to drive east against the Ottomans. Cheers everyone.